Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, today we're back with a brand new video. So today's is another book video. I do apologise for there not being one in the week you've just gone. It was the week of Halloween and I was doing seven videos a week um, for that week. Um, and I genuinely just didn't have enough time to film a book video and upload it. So I just didn't um, to erase that stress as well as I do have uni that I go to. <laughs> so I had to do with that. But today we are back with a new video did just almost forget to film this but I'm losing light really fast I mean it's only like almost 20 past four but daylight savings the other day has like killed killed everything all the light so it will be dark under an hour so while we're here I'm gonna film it so so today's video if you um didn't tell by the title is um the books that I read in the month of October I have them here so I only ended up reading four my like I never have enough time anymore especially because when I started reading one of these at the beginning of October I went home and I didn't read the whole weekend and then I've been at uni and also the week just gone where I was what well, was before last two weeks so i started a new book and i haven't finished it um well actually the, yeah the last week i started a book and it doesn't usually take me this long to read it but i've been trying to like do everything for this my makeup videos that side we're gonna get straight in with the books that i read obviously i will be showing you what i rate them but I'm a ten out of ten. So the first book that I read was Mexican Gothic by Silvia Moreno Garcia. I think I said that right. Um, so I actually really liked this book. It took me a really long time to read. Um, so short of a book, but um, I eventually did read it and get through it. It was it took a while, but I'm currently balancing my camera on a pumpkin <laughs> that I carved. Because I genuinely don't have enough time to fuss about because I'm really hungry and I have stuff to do today. So yeah, this is the first book I read. So I'm just going to answer the questions and then rate it, if that makes sense. So the first question is, do I like the cover? I love this cover. I picked this book up because it reminded me of The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Um, they're in no way, shape or form similar in any way. But the cover reminded me. I'm actually really glad I did pick this book up. Um, I actually did quite love it. Um, it was it was scary at parts. Um, so I thought it was perfect for October. Um, but it did take me a really long time to get through it. Um, and I also helped. Nope. I also think that the cover like tells part of what happens in the story. Like it shows you this is the girl. The wallpaper and the flowers all relate to the story. So I think that really helps so do i like the writing style kind of like it wasn't amazing but it also wasn't terrible um yeah it was all right it wasn't like amazing um the writing style to be honest in my opinion um the writing's good but the writing style is not my personal favorite um do i relate to the characters no they're like no I don't because I, there's there's just something that I don't really relate to them um the story that goes on like she goes to live with her family um it's a really weird like place that like, there's supernatural kind of things going on sort of um like magic sort of things going on so I definitely do not relate to the characters really at all um did it make me feel something? I mean, it made me feel scared at times. I mean, <laughs> um, there were some scary points where I like, well, it's not really scary, but like scary enough that um, when I'd go to bed, I'd be thinking about it. Kind of like the freaky nature of it, if that makes sense. Um, and would I recommend it? I think so, you know, it was quite a good book. Um, maybe I would have loved it more if I um, didn't read it over like a really long period of time because um, maybe I would have gotten into it more. But this book is a three and a half star book for me. The next book were, that I read in October was 
Olive by Emma Gannon. Now I actually really really loved this book. So this book isn't something that I would usually pick up um, just because it's not really anything like, um, say like, it's not a romance, it's not um, like a thriller, it's not a mystery, it's not crime, um, it's just kind of like her life, I guess you would call it, yeah. Um, but um i gave it a chance um i it took it did take me two time like two chances to buy it and then when i did i finally read it um but yeah i actually really really loved this book so this is about um this girl called olive and um three of her friends who have known each other from when they were kids and they went to uni together they start off at uni in the book and they move on and they're all like in different parts of their lives and they're all like falling apart when they thought they'd always stay together and like I feel like a friend drama basically so yeah so do on like the cover no I'm gonna have to say no there's nothing special about it um it's just the name and then some drawn characters that have no relation to the characters in the book so I'm gonna have to say I don't like the cover to be honest but I like the colours if that counts <laughs> um, do I like the writing style I um love the writing style um of this so it basically it like flips um between now and then like a few years ago and it basically like it tells you her story as well as like um throws in like her about her friends and their sort of story and like where they're at now and what's kind of how that's affecting their friendship and their relationships and everything um do i relate to the characters definitely um especially olive um i've gone through a lot of things like similar like with the friends with relationships with all the um characters and basically like they've gone through things that I've gone through with friends and family and relationships so I definitely do relate to the characters of this book. Did it make me feel something? Definitely. Um, I've had my fair share of friendship drama um, so when they were going through it in the book it really did make me feel something for when I have been through that multiple times and it's not fun but it did make me feel for them um and would i recommend it a hundred percent i mean i'm talking about it right now and i haven't said anything bad about it so i guess so um yeah it's it's a really like light-hearted nice sweet read um which is obviously different from what i usually would read um and very different from the next two books that i've read <laughs> but yeah i would definitely recommend um so this was a four star book for me <laughs> So the next book that I actually got through quite quickly was, was The Castaways by Lucy Clark. So I have read um, one of her books before called You Let Me In, which is a thriller. Um, and then this one, I didn't actually realise it was by the same author until I put them on my bookshelf um, because I read that one last year. But um, I was sceptical about this book um, because it's it's kind of what I would read but I, I don't know why I was skeptical about it but I definitely shouldn't have been because it was blooming it was amazing so um I really shouldn't have like put off reading this book I actually it was amazing so basically the story is this girl and her sister go to Fiji I think they go to an island to um, and they spend one night there and then they're supposed to fly to a smaller island just off like the coast the next day but drama happens and only one goes and the plane goes down um, two years apart um, basically so she thinks her sister is dead um, so it flips between the girl in 2018 I think it's two years apart and it just isn't then and now so it goes from the two years ago with the sister went down in the crash and what it was like living on the island with all these people all these people and then the girl the, her sister in the like now um and how she's dealing with it and everything um 
So that's kind of the basis of the story. So we will get into the book, um, the questions. So do I like the cover? I actually really like this cover. So this, it was the cover that got me into like buying the book or like noticing the book when I was in the bookshop. Um, so yeah, that's good. Um, I also think that it gives this, like the island gives you a picture of what the island is like on um, in the book. Um, and what it looks like because that's how I would describe it if I had to that's how I would draw it um so I think it really does show and like it helps to tell the story do I like the writing style I love the writing style of this I loved how they flipped between then and now with the two sisters one being then and one being now I feel like it really helped to tell the story instead of doing all of then and then all of now um like you they could have split it in two parts like doing all the like then at the first and then at the end to do now but I really liked how the writing style was done um I especially loved the many many twists at the end of this book <laughs> um I will say that um do I relate to the characters yes um I'm obviously very close with my sister so when she was going like talking about how she lost her sister they were very close um I definitely felt that obviously I haven't lost my sister obviously but um I definitely did feel that um you know um sibling love and all that um see so yeah, I definitely did relate to them I mean I've never been on an island before like that but you know um did it make me feel something like I did just say it did make me feel something um because I have siblings and I mean if they went down in a plane crash I'd be pretty pissed like and we had an argument the night before I'd be pretty upset you know um and stressed and this girl's just going through her life like she's not doing well um you know she doesn't like her job so I definitely did feel something and would I recommend it a hundred percent obviously it would it would depend on the type of person that I would recommend it to because I know the people in my life that read read very different things so I don't know if I would recommend this to all of them but I will definitely I'd love this I definitely recommend this book um it's a an amazing book this book is a five star book for me um the only one this month so it's really good so yeah five star rating for me I remember saying in my books, um, my current TBR about this book, and I said how it reminded me of Lord of the Flies, um, and it did in some way, once I actually read it, it did kind of remind me of it, um, but not as much as I thought it was going to. Obviously, Lord of the Flies is kids, and this isn't, and they don't kill each other, um, so it was, it, was, it was actually quite different, but yeah. So the last book that I read in October were, was, is um, Hide and Secrets by Sophie McKenzie. So I have read four books by Sophie before. So I read The Girl Missing series, which is a trilogy, and then her other one called Sweet Freak, I think? Yeah, called Sweet Freak. Um, so I had a feeling that I was gonna like this book before I even like picked it up. Um, once again, I brought this book without realizing that I had books by the author until I put them on my bookshelf and realized you know, that I do own mo multiple of her books. But when it came to choosing which ones to read this month, um, I picked this one up because um, I do like all of the, this girl's, this lady's writing. I really love it. Um, so basically this story is about a 14 year old, she seems much older in the story, a 14 year old girl um, and um, her father's dead um, and she's fighting with her mum, her, her younger sister like doesn't talk since her dad died and this guy moves in with his dad for the summer to do work in the garden um, basically and then she finds out that about her dad that he's alive um, or possibly alive um, and she tries to find him and basically just risks her whole life to try and find her dad basically so this is very different from what I thought it was gonna be um because when I thought it said missing father I genuinely thought it was gonna be like he ran away or you know not died but here we are so do I like the cover I actually find the cover quite boring I'm not gonna lie I feel like it definitely could be better I also don't like this sticker on here um yeah it definitely it I'm just not really a fan to be honest 
um, do I like the writing style? I really like um, Sophie's writing style. Um, it's very easy for me anyway, um, because these are young adult books. Um, but yeah, it's very easy to like get into. Um, and I love how she writes. Um, yeah, um, I feel like she's really gotten into like the 14 year old mind to know how they would like think and like deal with things. Um, do I relate to the characters? Kind of. Yeah, I kind of relate to them. Um, I, have, I haven't had to deal with anything like she has, but I know that if I, she would, she reacted in the same way I would. Um, yeah. <laughs> Um, did it make me feel something? It definitely did. It was like suspense at times, suspenseful, is that word? Um, at times, like it was very dramatic. Um, it definitely did make me feel multiple things of what the girl was feeling, like stress, she was upset, she was angry. It definitely made me feel all of those things. And would I recommend it? I would definitely recommend it. It was a really, really good book. Um, yeah, <laughs> so this is, a four star book so that is all the books that I read in October I mean a, a week through reading one of the other ones I haven't finished yet so I'm, so I'm not gonna put that in here um but yeah so these are the books I read so I will try and fix this lighting in post but if not I'm really sorry um so thanks for watching um on Wednesdays I do book videos and on Sundays I do makeup videos if you're interested in all of those in any of those so thanks again for watching and i'll see you again next time all my love bye